Alright, uh, this is my solar generator here, which means uh, this has my battery in it, my charge controller, and on the roof is the solar panels. And this is the Harbor Freight kit. There's the charge controller there. Uh, that over here is the inverter. Like I said, on the roof is the, the four panels it comes with. 25 watt panels. And we're going to test today and see how much or what wattage is actually getting put into the batteries. So we're going to see the volts and the amps going into the batteries. And also the volts and the amps hopefully coming from the solar panels. That will show us how much loss we're getting from this charge controller here. And also let us know exactly how much we're getting stored into the battery each day. Alright, and uh, just for reference, it is uh, August 30th, so it's still summer, and hold on a second. It is a nice bright and sunny day, and the panels are in full sun at this time. So, let's see what we're uh, running. Alright, uh, this is the line right here is coming in from outside coming from the solar panels and all four of them are wired together out there so it's supposed to be a total of 100 watts so we're going to check our amperage first down the inside set this against the outside you can see we're looking at right at one amp coming in takes that off drops down to zero back up to right around one amp all right so we're gonna pull this off and we're gonna switch over to the volts all right so we got this connected in the same places you can see we got 21 volts so with 21 volts and one amp gives us 21 watts so our 100 watt solar panel system up there straight off the panel is pulling 21 watts not very good at all. Uh, like I said, it's bright and sunny today. Pointing straight at the sun. But what I'm going to try is uh, get up there, clean them, and then do this test again and see if uh, we have much of a change. So, alright, let's get doing that real quick. Alright, just got in from uh, outside. Uh, adjusting the panels let's see uh try to point them a little bit more directly where the sun was right now and let's try this again we're gonna plug our port here this is where you can see this so uh, right now it's saying 0 0.2 uh, amps and we're at what's it say 1.2 1.3 so back, take everything off all right let's read zero this thing all right zeroed getting 0.9 which the sun did just go behind a cloud 0.9 You're still right at one and our, let's see, nineteen. There's kind of a glare there. There you go, nineteen point three volts. So we're pulling in about nineteen watts right now. And that's from the solar panel going to the charge charge controller. So after it goes to the charge controller, it's going to be even less. Yeah. So. All right. Now we're taking a look at what's coming off of the charge controller. We're going to hook up right here to where the battery is. It's going out to the battery. 
And at that point, we are looking at, we got there, 13 volts, which we need to be at 13, 14. So 13 is not terrible. So it is charging. And how many amps? Yep. Looking at around 0.8. Point nine, so maybe when the sun does come out fully we'll be looking at one amp so after the charge controller we're looking at 13 14 volts at one amp so we're looking at 13 or 14 watts so the whole by the time it gets to the battery and starts charging the battery we're looking at pulling in about 13 watts off this Harbor Freight uh, Thunderbolt 100 watt solar system is actually a 13 watt solar system. Yeah, so uh, still not a bad buy in a way for something to play around with and do some learning on. But yeah, I won't be purchasing another one. Instead, uh, I'll be going to a single 100 watts cell and probably upgrading to another charge controller soon all right well that's uh that's what i got if uh you have the 100 watt system yeah so what i was saying was uh if you got the 100 watt solar system from harbor freight and uh you've ever tested like this to see what kind of wattage you're actually pulling in uh let me know what you got I mean, I'm looking at 13, maybe 20 if I get really lucky on a nice day. But it doesn't even look like that. It's like 13, 14 is look like I'm, I'm going to test this uh, a lot more. This is the first time I've tested it, so I'm going to do it a lot more times. And uh, see how consistent those kind of results are. I did uh, drain the battery down some. So that way the charge controller's pushing out. Because um, I do know if it doesn't need the charge, it's not going to push out any power to the battery to charge it which makes sense so like i said uh leave in the comments below let me know if you've ever done these tests what your results were and maybe i did all maybe i did this test completely wrong this is uh from what i've seen what i understand on uh how the tests i let out so if i did everything wrong let me know that too uh there's a better way let me know all right like share subscribe if you want Y'all have a good one.